The prognosis want more stories about how healthcare policy affects you? Read page Winfield Cunningham. Americans are flocking to healthcare.gov in greater numbers than ever before in a development that runs precisely contrary to the doom and gloom everyone had predicted for this enrollment season. I think it's safe to say that last year, the Obama administration would have pretty much killed for the shockingly brisk pace of Obamacare signups in the first four days the federal health insurance website opened for business. The Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services announced yesterday that more than 600,000 people selected plans from November 1st through 4. Those figures appear quite a bit higher than last year when just over a million people selected plans in the first dozen days the best comparison available at this point. More than one in five of those people, 137,322, were new enrollees. That's despite the Trump administration's much cooler attitude toward health care.gov and Obamacare more generally. It seems certain the administration was trying to undercut enrollment figures by halting TV and radio advertising for the open enrollment season, chopping off Navigator Fund for groups that help people sign up and doing only the bare minimum to let people know they can start shopping. From Larry Levitt, Senior Vice President of the Kaiser Family Foundation former acting CMS head under President Obama should emphasize that it's still just the very beginning of the six-week sign-up period, and wait too early to know how this year will turn out in comparison to years past. But the initial trajectory is one that virtually no one predicted. Let's explore a few reasons why this might be one. More Americans can get more generous subsidies this year. This is a phenomenon stemming from Trump's decision to cut off extra payments to insurers for cost sharing reductions they must offer. We elaborated on this effect in Monday's The Health 202, but here's the quick and dirty explanation to make up for losing the payments. Many insurers hiked prices for their mid-grade silver plans. And because premium subsidies are based on silver plan prices, the subsidies are going up too, making bronze and gold plans even cheaper for many low-income people. I really believe the availability of these very low-cost plans could be a game-changer, said Josh Beck, who served as healthcare.gov's chief marketing officer under Obama and now heads up the group Get America Covered. Enrollees eligible for subsidies will get $555 on average to offset the cost of their plans, up 45% from this year's $382 average tax credit, according to the Department of Health and Human Services. Two. People with a healthcare.gov account are still getting reminder emails. I know this because I created an account several years ago. I've received at least four reminder emails in the last week, telling me I should visit the website to search for a plan. So have other sneets Margot Sanger cats over the last four years. The Obama administration created a large database of email addresses for past and current enrollees. Even though it appears the Trump administration isn't using some of the email messaging strategies that were effective in years past, like telling people they could find cheaper plans on healthcare.gov if they shopped around, email remains a major way Americans remember to sign up. Three maybe brokers are kicking butt. Before the Obama administration instituted more restrictions on the role of private brokers, they'd helped enroll an estimated 40 to 50 percent of marketplace customers. In California, brokers accounted for 43 percent of new enrollments on the state's covered California exchange during the second year of enrollment. The Trump administration reversed the crackdown in a rule last spring allowing brokers to once again enroll people in marketplace plans through their own websites. This could lead to brokers filling a hole left by the administration's refusal to promote the law. To health, one of the largest online brokers licensed to sell marketplace plans in all 50 states, said the new rules allow the company to once again find it profitable to help people sign up for marketplace coverage. Web-based entities bring younger and healthier participants in the system. The company's CEO Scott Flanders told me. So it's very healthy for the viability of ACA for web based brokers to bring in a higher share of enrollees. Four. Advertising drives enrollment near the end of sign up season, not the beginning of it. If the reduced advertising dollars do have a dampening effect on enrollment, that effect won't be apparent until near the end of the sign up season, Beck told me. Outreach is less important at the very beginning of the season because that's when the most motivated customers are signing up. 
Last year, the Obama administration didn't run any TV ads during the first week of open enrollment, Peck said. Outreach has an outsize F.